everyone. I have done a whole to haul today for Joann's and Hobby Lobby. I'm going to combine them both because uh, Joann's is just a little bit. Hobby Lobby is the most. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... well. Oh, and I've got a couple of things I got in the mail today too that I'm going to share with you. Which I'll go ahead and get that started. First thing is from eBay. I think it's my clover iron. Where are my scissors? There you go. I'm not sitting down today. I am standing and you see behind me? Look at all this mess back here. I didn't realize it looked so messy until I see it on camera. But I'm going to be doing some cleaning up. So She said that the box was damaged when she received it, but she's never used it. So let me open it. Keep your fingers crossed. Flips up for this because twice I've tried to order this thing and twice I've been let down. So yay, it's the stand. I finally got it. I finally look at that. I finally got it. Look at that. So Let's see what the picture says. Okay, I get it. All right. This is to cool off your, to store your irons in, your different attachments. This is what you put the iron on to cool it down right here. This is what I've been wanting. I saw it on Sewing with Nancy before she passed away and there you go and then when you're done with it you just close it up like that hallelujah i got it yay <laughs> all right here's a package looks like yep it's from wish so let's go ahead and open this but i just have my scissors what did i there they are okay wish cover my address there it is see right there it says wish Okay, enough of the craziness. I know, you probably think I'm going bonkers. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, okay, some more of those rivets. And you know what, people? I know you're waiting on a tutorial on the rivets, but the problem is I haven't had time to really work to practice. So I'm going, I've got tomorrow and Wednesday so hopefully I'll find time the next couple of days to practice. So anyhow, this is what they look like. And they look like they have both parts that you're going to need. Okay, another package. So affordable. Hmm. I don't remember what I got here. But let's find out. Oh, my other CDs. Oh, hold on a minute. That reminds me because did I show you this? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. If I did, I'm sorry. Okay. I got this the other day. And I don't remember, I remember telling you about it, but I don't remember if I told, maybe I did show it to you. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did, because I remember saying something about fa la la. So now, I got the other two that I ordered. This is uh, a lip balm holder and a circle pouch. This is in the hoop. Then I also got these cowboy boots that you can stick candy or whatever in. And on the back, this is a better picture of what you can do. Sorry for the glare. And um, I don't remember right. So we got the small stuff out of the way. I'm going to not do this in any, in any certain order, okay? But it's gonna be Joann's and Hobby Lobby. All right, at Joann's, as always, I went to the remnant bin. And I got some vinyl. It's a table pad, what it really is, but I can still use it. And uh, I got, I don't know what 0.528 inches is, but let's see. 
0.528. So I know that's a over a half a yard, a little over a half a yard. Um, it was 369 and I paid like a dollar something for this. It has a felt backing on it, so that's why I know I can use this. Okay, and then I also got some Signature Shiny White. Oh, it's neon? Doesn't look neon to me. It looks like a white to me. Uh, some kind of vinyl. I got a yard. It was $10.99. Let's say $11, so I paid $5.50 for this. All right. Um... This is called Brocade Snowflake. It's 45 inches. It was 943, 950, which will make it 475. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's 45 inches wide, and I got almost a yard of this. So, I, I love it. I think it's so pretty. I saw this and I said, well, I've got to have it. So, <sighs> All right, now I got some flannel. And this is .389. And I think she said that it was like 3 8 yard or something. No, not 3 8 Maybe it is. I don't know. But anyhow, um, they had 271 on here and I paid a dollar something or another dollar 35 but it's really cute look at that isn't that adorable and then I got this this is really cute too it's got a snowman on it look at that and then another snowman I don't know if they're all the same or not well one way to find out I'm going to open it in just a second this is zero I mean point three zero six I paid a dollar or fifty for this. So it it usually runs, it says nine ninety nine a yard. So let me see here. Let me take I'm going I'm taking the band off. So All right. Okay, let me see exactly how much is on here. There's the fold. There's 11 inches on here, but that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. So I guess I have more fabric to wash. I thought I got caught up. Okay, and then I got this. Isn't this cute? And it's flannel. That is so adorable. Uh, it well, I got there's a yard on here, and they had 6.99, so seven dollars. I paid 3.50 for this. Isn't that just adorable? I love it. Okay. Now, this is a cotton interlock. And it's a full yard on here. And it's adorable. There is 57 inches wide. And they had $10 on this, $9.99. I say $10 to round it off. I paid like five dollars for this, but is it that cute? Look at those little dogs. Look at that. Aren't they adorable? I thought if my dog would be on here. My breed. You can't hardly find anything with my breed. I don't know. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what's on here. What kind of dogs? That's it. There's just those two dogs. But still, it's adorable. Look at that. It is so cute. And um, a cotton interlock is semi-stretchy, but not as stretchy as a jersey. Okay, same thing on this one, but I got a half a yard. So it was three fifty. I paid $1.75 for this. Okay, that bag is empty. All right. This is Hobby Lobby. And I went in there to get teen fabrics. Just wouldn't have it. So anyhow, I got University of Georgia. All right. <laughs> Florida State, I think it is. Yeah, is this Florida State on here? Okay. Uh, this is Arkansas Razorbacks. 
I had no idea if this is football or what it is, but I got that. But anyhow, um, I hope you, let me, I don't know if you heard me say that I got this one here, Arkansas Razorbacks. Okay, and then I got um, another Georgia. I have no idea what this is, but I see Bulldogs on there. Okay, this is Miami Heat is what it says. All right. This is uh, Florida State. It's State University. It says Seminoles on here. Okay. All right, and this is the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is Florida Gators. Okay, and there's another Gators. So, you know, I could use this like a lining fabric for something. Maybe, you know, use a lining fabric maybe for this. I think that would look nice together. Okay, and then I got a Miami Dolphin. I got um, Tampa Rays. Um, I got another of the Jaguar. Now, I found out the Hobby Lobby has. Alright, I thought I was. I thought the recording was stopping again on me. Anyhow, um. Our uh, Hobby Lobby has 60 inches wide of some of the team fabrics and 45 of all of them. All right. And then the Buccaneers. Now, I, all right, let's see now. This is Joanne's. This fabric here was 60% off. It cost me two something a yard. So I got four yards of it. Isn't that pretty? That would be nice as a lining fabric for something. All right, I got this. Okay, this is for my oldest granddaughter. She's, and this is flannel and the, but anyhow, there you go. Is it that cute? It has the names of the different cats on here. I thought this was really fantastic. Look at that. It has the Tabby and the Bengal and the Maine Coon and Persian. Same thing. This is for my piano teacher. So, I got And then I um, also found this on the remnant uh, section. This is some felt. Uh, what kind of felt is it? Well, it's 72 inches orchid. Well, orchid is the color. It's 100% polyester. But anyhow, this was $7, and I paid $3.50 for it. So that's a lot. So a full yard is on here. Okay. All right. I got some, I got some patterns here. And they were $0.99 cents at Hobby Lobby. So I got 10 because 10 is the limit. So I got this one right here, Simplicity 1483. And then I, I thought this one was real cute, 1514. And you can also make the dolls one too, along with the little girls. Then I thought this was nice, 1399, no 1339. Uh, it has uh, a phone cover, reader cover, uh, like tablet, uh, iPad, um, th that kind of thing. And it also has little purses, like if you want to put your phone in the little purse or whatever. And then I got this. I thought this was cute. 1516. And uh, you use cotton fabric or felt and felt with this. Now this was adorable. One four four seven. I wanted to get some little girls and little boys outfits made, so I thought this is perfect. 
that's one of the things I was looking for. Oh, and then I got another little boy and little girl outfit. Look at this, 8142. Isn't that darling? I'm going to try to work on this. To, I, I tell you what, there's so many things I want to get made for my shop. And i got to get busy. i got to clean this cutting table off so I can cut some fabric, too. Okay, 1564. Is it that darling? You know, I saw this and I thought, you know what? I'm making those um, capes for the bigger girls. And I saw this. I says, I might as well get this for the babies. Now, I need to get some team fleece. I don't have any. And... I really didn't look when I was at Joanne's. Hobby Lobby didn't have any fleece that I saw. So, um, I got this. 8036. And I think you do need fleece to make this with. Let me check. Yeah, you do. Double face fleece. Or you could use double knit or plain fleece or stretch velvet, velour, novelty sweater knit. So there's a quite a few options on here that I can use but what gave me the idea to get this was the team fleece that I see in that picture right there that's what gave me the idea then I got these for little girls it was that cute I think little boys yep yeah, there's little boys on here too but isn't that cute oh that's adorable I love it then this is the last one look at that isn't that beautiful 8540 these are all birds different no are they all birds? Tall birds, bee, and la ladybug. So this is what I want to get done. So I'm going to see how much I can get done this week. And work Christmas in between. Work my Christmas presents I want to do. Um, another Hobby Lobby bag. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't done with the one that's on my arm here. Hold on. I got some ribbon that was on clearance. They had a lot of stuff on clearance today. Okay, so I got a Superman. This one was $1.80. Then I got an Avengers, and there's like three different types, and this was $1.80. Okay, um, did I just show you this one? No, this is a different Avengers. No, this is Superman. I'm sorry. This is Superman. Okay, here's another Superman. And all the Supermen were $1.80 each. And what's the size of this ribbon? A one inch. One inch wide. And you get how many yards? Three yards. Okay. Same thing on here. This is a Frozen. And this was 90 cents. I see that they marked it down three times to get it to 90 cents. And uh, so that's what that one looks like. Oops, I think I have it upside down, don't I? Uh, I think that's right. I don't know. I can't tell. But anyhow, you know what you're looking at. Here's a Spider Man. Uh, now this, I think I got three of these, and this was 90 cents, and this is 5 eighths wide with 12 feet, so 12 feet is what, one, one foot, so a foot on here, but I got three of these, and okay, here's another Superman, did I show you this already, I don't remember, but anyhow, Got that. Whoops, upside down. There you go. Uh, a Batman. I don't remember showing you the Batman. And then, I know I showed you this one already. It's the Superman one. Okay, another Frozen like I just showed you. And this is another Avenger. Okay, those I already showed. All right. Now, I got some rivets. These were a dollar five, and when they were on the 
sales for, they were $3.49. So I paid $1.05 for these. Uh, looks like they marked it down twice. But anyhow, these are 7 6 7 16 inches wide. So I got, I think I got two of those. Alright, here's a uh, set of buckles. They are... Three eighth inch wide, and they're a good size for dolls. And these were sixty cents, and they were regularly priced a dollar ninety nine. I got some yarn because I have a customer that wants a special order made. She wants some shark shark socks, so I got some of this yarn here. I was trying to find something that was sort of soft, and this is it. Hobby Lobby's yarn, I love their yarn for one reason, well, more than one, but this main reason is because the yarn is so soft. So I got white, and my camera's going to, uh, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, and then I got some gray, and this is the Crafter's Secret, and it's soft, and it's 100% acrylic, but it is a lot softer than Red Heart is, a lot softer. Um, how many yards do you get on her? 355 yards. So, I'm going to make the socks out of that. I found the pattern, but the pattern is $5. She's willing to pay it, so. Uh, I got a piece of felt from Hobby Lobby. It's a quarter inch wide. Quarter inch long. Um, but anyhow, this is a 72 inch wide quarter, in quarter yard of felt. I paid 89 cents. 89 cents. I couldn't believe it. Marked price $3.59. Okay. Then I had this yarn before and I ran out when I made a doll poncho. So I bought some more because I want to make some booties, maybe a hat and a purse to go with it. But this is what's called a spark. I love this cotton yarn. Now look at those sparkles in it. It is so pretty. When I get it all done, I'll show you what it looks like. But it's so soft. I love it. I love Hobby Lobby's yarn. Hey. Then they had their fat quarters half price. So I got some of those. Oh, I also got this too. Um, I got uh, scoring blades for your rotary cutter. 28 millimeter. I got two of them for a dollar eight, and the regular price on them was five ninety nine. Okay, here's the fat quarters. They were all a dollar each. All right, they are all so pretty. I love them. Look at that. I like that owl. So pretty. Now the ladybug, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And the flowers. The birdhouses. Look at the birdhouses. And then I like this one too. They had so many pretty ones. It was kind of hard to decide which ones to get. Okay. A few more things in the bag. All of this was clearance. Then some more of the rivets that I already showed you. And these, wait a minute. No, I only got one of these rivets. And I had them out in the sun and they looked like they were purple, but now they look like they're green. So I have no idea what the color of them are. It says gray nickel, so I don't know. So these are the other rivets. I got, I got two of these. And these are just black, like black pearls type rivets. I, I am going to sit down, hopefully this week, and do some practicing. Then I got me some more buckles. So I got three packs of buckles. All right. I am almost done, I promise. Some more clearance. Now, I've never done this before, and I thought it might be fun. And what you do is you sew the sequins on. See that? And it's got the dowel, the thread, the needle. 
there's some yarn right there and I'm I'm never done this before and I'm not sure how to do it but I'm sure there is step-by-step -step instructions in here then I got that chick I think that's cute for Easter time and if I don't have enough sequins I've got sequins so that's no problem I got this one that is really pretty too these were 345 each and then I got two of these isn't that cute? So I've got a couple that I can wait until Easter to put together, and then I've got some I can do now. So that probably be a project I do in front of the TV, like when I crochet. Got some more ribbons here, but they're basically all the same that I've already showed you. Okay, now this one says Hello Baby on it. This was 90 cents and I paid, well, it was 5 8 inches wide, 15 feet. And uh, it says it's white gold, white and gold. Then this one says, oh baby, same price. This one is the princesses and this was $1.50. Um, one inch wide with three yards on it. I got the Minions and this was a dollar fifty. And same size as all the others. Now I showed you that already. Now this is cute. I saw this and I had to get it. A dollar fifty from the frozen. I like Olaf. I think he's so cute. And then this is another uh, Frozen, same price. I think this is my last bag. All right, and then they had these. These are the ruffles that you would pay by the yard for. I got 24 yards, 19 cents a yard, and I paid $4.61 for 24 yards. It's called apparel fabric. Look at that. Um, the bolt thing, too. It said that it was 89 cents a yard to begin with. And then I got this. I thought this might be cute for something. I don't know what right now, but I got four yards two dollars and fourteen cents I paid fifty three cents a yard so, and those are pleats all right that's it for Hobby Lobby and Joann's now I got something from Amazon yesterday no maybe it was yesterday I got this really nice iron look at that um, it is digital and here's the box that came in and I did get it from Amazon it came with a little cup to put your water in your spout right here with so I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to see what the display looks like because I've been wanting to see it Okay, that's what the display looks like. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't think you can see it. But anyhow, that's what the display looks like. And then right here is where you put your water. And these are your steams uh, right here and your spray mist. Um, this is your this is your spray control however much spray you want to use uh, well anyhow it says nylon silk wool cotton linen when you push this button it's going from one temperature to the next so let me go ahead and unplug it has an auto cut auto cut off so now I can move this box out of the way I 
I got a couple more things here from Amazon. No, this is from Wish. I got these buckles that you can use for, um, I can't get this one to turn around so you can see it. I'll turn it, I'll do it this way. But I got these buckles from Amazon, okay? I thought that if I did wallets, handbags, whatever. But it doesn't come with instructions, and I thought they were going to be like putting on a magnetic snap, um, where it's got the ends and you uh, push them together. What? Well, anyhow, I thought that's what this was, but that's what they look like. Let me take it out of the package so you can see better. So I'm not sure how to use these. I'm going to have to do a YouTube uh, search to find out. And it looks like it has a couple of extra loose screws, so I don't know. All right, that's what I'm talking about. See right there? So I'm not sure how you're supposed to get the fabric up underneath there, unless the only thing I can think of is you take these screws out in the back, and this thing comes apart. And I'm thinking that's how you do it. I don't know. So I have to do a YouTube uh, video hunt to see if I can find the tutorial. Okay, now one last thing. I have one more thing to show you and then we are done. I got this today while I was at my mother's. Well, look at that chair. And then you sit in the chair like this. Oh, whew, it feels good to sit down. <laughs> All right, you see that? And then I have a lever over here and it reclines and it pulls up the leg part right here too, I think. Nope. All right, we do it with this switch over here. All right, did you see that? Look at that. I'm sorry for the jiggling, but this is just like a recliner.